All right, today I want to talk a bit more about the new five star legendary gem that we are getting tomorrow with the update. It seems like this gem is not creating any hype at all. I have not seen a single post about this on Reddit or even in the Discord community. No one is excited for the new five star gem, Hilt of the Many Realms. And uh, it is not because this gem is going to be bad. I think it is because everyone is dried out currently after spending a ton on the rolling consequence and uh, to be realistic here a lot of players are still working on rolling consequence trying to reach their desired rank like i am trying to reach rank 7 currently i need two more copies before i will able to do that and i don't even have enough platinum right now to purchase the new five star gem that will drop tomorrow so i'm hoping they will offer a trial that is going to allow me to try the gem out on the channel for you guys if that will not happen then i will save some platinum and purchase the gem myself and do some testing for pvp and pve but anyhow let's go let's take a look at that gem again there are a couple of things that i end up missing the last time when i took a look at uh, the description here few interesting things i want to point out so new gem health of the many rums if we scroll down a bit hills of many rums five star gem dealing damage summon five flying swords to follow you for 10 second so first off we have to deal damage and then this gem will get triggered so that is the point number one second during which using a skill consume a flying sword to create a sword rain at a random location and the second point i want to raise here is the sword is only going to be consumed when you, you will use one of these skills. So first off, you activate the gem by dealing damage. After that, you have to use five skills in order to consume those five flying swords, which will randomly pick one enemy and uh, use the sword rain at a random enemy location. Now we don't know the range of the activation how far you can be from the enemy and how fast the activation of the skill itself is going to be is it going to be like starfire meteor or is it going to be like the more of the deep where you can easily get away from the fish we will find it out but it is interesting to me that the damage over time is not going to trigger the flying sword on you so if you can put the damage over time on your enemies or you have that on yourself i don't think the gem is going to target you from a really long distance like how the starfire shot can trigger on you if you have a damage over time effect on yourself and same for the mob the deep so if someone will use a skill it will consume one of the swords and uh, use the sword rain so that is the second point moving forward 125 percent base damage at rank 10 plus 506 to nearby enemies summoning flying sword cannot occur more than once every 20 seconds that is normal for most of the gems and uh, this is interesting part here sword rain has a 50 percent chance to drop a massive sword dealing an additional 50 percent damage to nearby enemies and uh, knocking them airborne i want to talk a bit more about airborne but let's talk about 50 percent chance first here so not every sword is going to send the So it is going to be a 50-50 thing, but most definitely we will be sending plays and enemies airborne. 50% is like huge chance and there is like five swords. If you can hit the same target 
five times so most likely they will be going airborne maybe two or three times that can be really annoying like cc is going to be insane with this gem and uh, about the airborne itself we have currently knock back knock up this is going to be totally a new effect airborne i'm not sure if we have the airborne in game with any skills i know there is one skill with the arc and wind that sends the enemy upward knocking them up but i don't think that is airborne airborne might be something totally new where it will actually send you really high in the air you stay there for maybe a split second or something and then come back down could be could be something like that but the gem itself i think it is going to be really powerful but like i said dino plays are already dried out and so i have not seen much excitement or hype for this gem on any community post reddit not talking about this even on discord no one is talking about this everyone is busy talking about the new essences and some of the other things but there we go i just wanted to talk about this gem a bit more in depth a few of the things that i missed yesterday and in my opinion this gem is going to be really good but that is all i'm signing off see you all in the next one later guys